I'm gonna show you how to make the best vegan quesabirria tacos filled with vegan mozzarella, crispy jackfruit, cilantro, and onion, and served with a side of mouthwatering consomme. These tacos are a must try. To begin, we're gonna start by preparing the consomme. You're going to need four New Mexico chiles, one pasilla, five puya, six chile de arbol, six cloves of garlic, and half of a white onion. First, we're gonna deseed all of our chiles one by one until all or most of the seeds are off. They should look something like this. Next, get a pot of water and put it on the stove on high heat. We're going to boil our chiles for about 30 minutes. You're also gonna add in your onion, I chopped mine into fourths, as well as your whole garlic cloves. While the chiles are boiling, it's time to get started on the birria meat. So we're going to be using jackfruit today. I like to buy mine at Trader Joe's. It's the 20 ounce can and make sure you get the one that says in brine. So here I'm using two cans. Each can makes about eight tacos, so I'm gonna be making 16 tacos in total today. If this is your first time working with jackfruit, I know that it looks a little bit weird, but trust me, when it's cooked and seasoned, it tastes delicious and mimics the texture of meat so well. Next, drain and rinse your jackfruit and pat it dry to remove any excess water. I found that when you shred the jackfruit with your hands, it mimics the texture of meat a lot better than when you chop it with the knife, but it's totally up to you how you want to shred it. In the end, your jackfruit should look something like this, and it's ready to be cooked. On medium-high heat, you're going to want to put some oil on a pan and add in all of your jackfruit. For the seasonings, I like to just eyeball it, but if you'd like a more precise measurement, start off with one teaspoon of each seasoning shown. So I go in with some paprika, cayenne pepper, garlic powder, ground cumin, black pepper, salt, and this is totally optional, but I like to add some red pepper flakes as well. Then just give that a good stir and make sure all the jackfruit is covered in seasoning and let that cook on the stove for about 10 to 13 minutes or until the edges are nice and crispy. By now your chile should be done cooking, so go ahead and transfer everything to a blender and you're gonna also wanna add a little bit of that water that you boiled them in as well. But before you blend, add one cup of vegetable broth to the blender. I like to use this one from Trader Joe's, but any one will do just fine and blend for about a minute. Then transfer it back to the pot and add two more cups of vegetable broth. I like my consomme a little bit on the thicker side, but if you'd like to make yours thin or have a little extra on hand, feel free to add three cups of vegetable broth. Then I season it with cumin, Mexican oregano, black pepper, and salt to taste. Seasoning is all about preference, so add as much or as little as you'd like until it tastes just right for you. You're gonna wanna bring the consomme to a boil and then turn the heat on low and let it simmer for 20 to 30 minutes or until you're ready to make your tacos. Next, we're going to take a white onion and dice it up into small pieces. We're gonna save half to add to your tacos and put the other half inside the consomme. You're also gonna wanna chop up a head of cilantro and add half to the consomme as well. And now, it's time to make the tacos. Add a little bit of oil to your pan and dip the tortilla in the consomme. First, we add a layer of vegan mozzarella cheese, then some jackfruit, cilantro, and onion. Fold the taco in half and let it cook on each side for three minutes or until it's nice and crunchy. The crunchier, the better. To speed up the process, try cooking two to three tacos at a time, depending on the size of your pan. You don't wanna overcrowd your tacos. In the end, they should look something like this crispy on the edges and crunchy all around. Serve with a side of consomme for dipping and enjoy. When I decided to go vegan, I thought I would never have a quesadilla taco again, but boy was I wrong. I've spent months trying to perfect this, bouncing back and forth from recipe to recipe and taking things that I liked from each of them. And just as I did, I'm confident that you'll fall in love with this recipe too. My boyfriend told me that this is hands down his favorite meal that I make and he literally drinks the consomme after he's done with his tacos. So do with that information what you will, but whether you're vegan or simply looking for a meat-free meal for meatless Monday, this is the recipe for you. And if you try it out, be sure to take a picture and tag me on Instagram or Twitter so I can see how you liked it. But with that being said, thank you so much for watching. As always, I love you very much and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!